assalamu alaikum today i am telling you about why great white shark attacks on human a shark attack is an attack on a human by a shark every year around 80 unprovoked attacks are reported worldwide despite their rarity many people fear shark shark attacks after occasional and horror out of more than 489 shark species only 3 of them are responsible for a doubt digit number of fatal unprovoked attacks on human number 1 the great white shark number 2 tiger shark and number 3 bull shark the oceanic white tip has probably killed many more cast away but these are not recorded in the statistics while the term shark attacks is in common use for intents of human beings wounded by sharks it has been suggested that this is based largely on the assumption that large predatory sharks such as great white bull or tiger sharks only seek out humans as prey a review recommended instances where a shark clearly predates on a human should the bite incident be termed an attack implying predations otherwise it is more accurate to class bite incident at fatal bite incidents citing to do include physical interactions encounters including physical interactions with harm shark bites include major shark bite incident including those that require medical attentions and fatal shark bite incidents result in death the studies should suggest that only in a case where an expert validates the predatory intent of a shark won't be appropriate to term a bite incident and attack the florida museum of natural history compares these statistics with the much higher rare of deaths from other causes for example an average of more than 38 people die annually from lightning strikes in coastal states while less than 1% per year is killed by a shark in florida florida in the united states even considering only people who go to beaches a person's chance of getting attacked by a shark is 1 in 11.5 million and a person's chance of getting killed by a shark is less than 1 in 264.1 million however in certain situation the risk of a shark attack is higher for example in the southwestern of western australia the chances of a sufferer being fatally bitten by a shark in in winter or spring are in 40,000 and for divers it is 1 in 16,000 in comparison to the risk of a series of of fatal cycling as accident this represents 3 times the risk of for a suffer and 7 times the risk of for a drive only a few species of shark are dangerous to humans out of more than 480 sharks species only 3 are responsible for two digits number of fatal unprovoked attacks on human the great white shark tiger shark and brook shark however the oceanic trip has probably killed many more cast aways which have not been recorded in the statistics these sharks being large powerful predators may sometimes attack and kill people It is impossible that the sharks are able to sense the presence of unnatural elements or about the divers such as air tanks and diving suits etc which may lead them to accept temporary outsiders as of a curiosity than prey However such as those supporting light snorkeling or swimming present a much greater area of exposed skin surface to shark in addition the presence of even small traces of blood recent minor abrasions cut scrapes or bruises may lead shark to attack a human in their environment sharks seek out of prey through electroreception sensing the electric fields that are generated by all animal due to the activity of their nerves and muscles most of the oceanic white tip sharks attack have not been recorded unlike the uh, other three species mentioned above reasons for attack large shark species are apex predators in their environment and thus have little fear of a creature other than with which they cross path like most they are curious when they encounter something 
unusual in their territories lacking any limbs with sensitive digits such as hand or feet the only way they can explore an object or organism is to bite it these bites are known as test bites generally shark bites are exploratory and the animal will swim away after one bite for though thought to be caused by the shark mistaking the surfer and surfboard for the shape of p no nothing less a single bite can grievously injure a human if the animal involved is a powerful predator such as a great white or tiger shark a shark will normally makes one swift attack and then retreat to wait for the victim to die or weaken from shock and blood loss before returning to feed this protects the shark from injury from a wounded and aggressive target however it also allows human time to get out of the water and survive shark attacks may also occur due to territorial reason or as domin- dominance over another shark species resulting in an attack shark are equipped with sensory organs called the amphibole of lorenzini that detects the electricity generated by muscle movements the shark's electrical re- receptors which pick up movement detect signals like those emitted from fish wounded for example by someone who is spear fishing leading the shark to attack the person by mistakes how to preventing shark attacking reducing the risk general advice to reduce risk of being bitten by a shark include staying in group as solitary individuals are more at risk of being bitten only going in the water during the day avoiding areas with a lot of fish or fisheries not wearing jewelry which can create reflections like fish scale avoiding a splash at the surface because it makes sounds which attracts sharks shark barriers a shark barriers otherwise known as a shark proof enclosure or beach enclosure is sea bed to surface protective barrier that is placed around a beach to separate people from sharks shark barriers from a fully enclosed swimming areas that prevents sharks from entering shark barriers design are has involved from rudimentary fencing material to needed structure held in place with buoys and anchors shark net in australia and south africa shark nets are used to reduce the risk of shark attack Shark nets are currently installed at beaches in New South Wales and Queen's Island. 83 beaches are matched in Queen Island compared with 51 in New South Wales. Since 1952, nets have been installed at numerous beaches in South Africa. Shark nets do not offer complete protection but work on the principle of fewer of sharks, fewer attacks. They reduce occurrence via shark mortality. Reducing the local shark populations is believed to reduce the chance of an attack. Historical shark attacks fingers suggest that the use of shark nets are and drumlines does markedly reduce the in- incidence of shark attacks when implemented on a regular and consistent basis